victory. New at 10, some in the Madison area who just evacuated out of Egypt are glad they got out when they did, but tonight they worry about the family and friends left behind. NBC 15's Chris Woodard here now with more. John, after a frightening few days living with the protests, the focus now turns to those they left behind. It was just amazing. Yeah. I mean, the pictures still don't seem real to Pam Grimmer. I sit here and I wonder if, it, if it's going to stay this way for months, uh, what their lives are going to be. Visiting her son and grandchildren in Egypt, protests started one day before she was supposed to fly home. One night I was doing the dishes and I heard a noise and I ran and looked out the window and a tank went by. Stuck in the country, she couldn't escape the violence. Burned out vehicles, tanks on street corners, and all the men in her son's building arming themselves with golf clubs and baseball bats worried about thugs. And these are the clubs and stuff that they had out at night trying to protect. Grimmer's two-week stay turned into three. This was the first tank I saw on the way to the airport. Eventually, she was able to get out on one of the State Department's evacuation flights. It was really pretty hairy. Mark Gajewski had to watch from afar. He was home in Madison trying to help his 23-year-old daughter studying in the country. At 3.30 Sunday morning, our daughter called us and said, it's just totally unsafe. you got to get me out of here. She thought she was going to see someone get killed right in front of her eyes. Gajewski got his daughter on a flight out of the country. She has lots of friends, Egyptian friends, that are left behind, so she's really worried about them, and you know she's in constant contact with them, too. Amid new unrest tonight, the concern is shared. Grimmer anxiously watches the news, worried about her son, daughter-in-law, and two grandbabies left behind. We're still hoping that and praying that they stay safe. A Grimmer says she's more concerned tonight than she has been in days, but so far has been able to stay in contact with her son by phone.